Hello! We're going to be doing things a little bit different. Uh, since I'm going to be showing you some audio stuff, I can't be capturing audio uh, to the desktop uh, while I'm trying, because I'm going to be showing you how to record some stuff and do some neat stuff with the microphone, so I can't be recording audio with the video. So I'm just going to use my little flip camera here, and you also get to see me. Hi! So uh, let me get started. Let me start my screen capture up here. We'll just call this Socks. Um, Voice capture. There we go. Select my screen and we're recording. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit at Socks, which is a great little utility that I've only used a little bit, but I know that it's a great utility from what I've seen it's capable of doing and from what people have said. It's Socks, S-O-X. Installed on a lot of systems by default. If it's not on yours, it's almost definitely in the repositories. Go ahead and install it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to not just record from the microphone on your computer uh, to a file, but we're going to learn how to detect silence on the microphone and only start recording when, you, when the microphone picks up a certain level of audio for a certain amount of time. And then once it gets quiet below a certain percentage of volume for a certain amount of time, it will stop recording. So let's get started and, and I'm hoping to be able to use this for some really neat ideas I have uh, in the near future. I haven't tested them out, so I don't want to say what they are because if they don't work out, I look kind of stupid. Anyway, let's start typing here. We're going to go socks is the command. I'm going to go dash T A L S A, and that's just saying uh, what uh, input we're using for the audio. Uh, then uh, we're going to say default. Oops, default. So uh, the default input for the ALSA or ELSA uh, Advanced Linux Sound Audio application, something like that. So so whatever the default record input in, which on my computer is my microphone right here. Um, so that's all taken care of. We've said what audio device we're using and what input from it. Now we're going to set a file. Uh, and uh, by the way, I got this. I wish. I wrote down the person's name. I actually got this default command uh, off of um, commandlinefoo.com, um, but there's lots of references and notes out there on how to do this. That's just the first place I saw it. So anyway, uh, we're going to say the file name. Uh, we'll just say record and we'll save to an, uh, a flock file, a flack file, and we're going to use the little module or plugin silence and this is the 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 next the rest of this uh, command we're doing here is is going to be parameters for the silence feature and there's going to be three sets of numbers the first I'm sorry six sets of numbers the first three are waiting for audio input the second three are waiting for the quietness so the first of each of them we're going to set to one I don't know what this one says but from the documentation I just read online um, that's usually the default for silence, so we're going to set that to one. If anyone knows what that is, go ahead and, uh, and post it in a comment below. Next, we're going to look for the duration of audio. So it's going to, when we start recording, everything is going to be quiet. We're going to be looking for a certain percentage, which we'll set in a second, of volume increase, but we also want to know how long. So if it's just a, do we want it to start recording, or do we want to wait till there's actual... Uh, a second or two of audio. We're going to go a tenth of a second, so it's, it's pretty much as soon as there is audio, and we'll say uh, that increases to over 5% of the input, um, we're going to start recording. So a tenth of a second, so as soon as there is any audio, over 5% we're going to stop, start recording. Now to stop recording, we're going to set one again, just as the default. And we're going to say for silence of 1.0, so as long as there's a silence of uh, at least one second, because if you go shorter than this, just the pauses between your words, if you're recording your speech, could cause it to stop recording. So if we're going to start recording when I start talking in the microphone, and if I stop talking for longer than a second, and the volume drops be below 5% for a second or longer, it's going to stop recording. So let's give this a try. I'll hit enter here. Oh, and see, it heard me talking. I'm going to hit enter and then just go right away. Okay, I'm going to start recording as you can see on the screen now. 
it was detecting and I stopped talking uh, or I was talking below a volume of 5%. So what we can also do, we can tweak these numbers. Let's set this up to 2 seconds, so 2 seconds below 5%. Okay, I'm starting to record, and as you can see, the volume level on the terminal screen recording my audio, and it's going to continue recording until I stop talking for more than two seconds. So, that is a simple little look at this. We're going to be looking at this a lot in the future, hopefully. Um, I think uh, some of the uses I'm going to try to use this for, is, is, it's just great if you want to record whenever there's a volume of audio. So, you, so examples of this, if you have some sort of connection to where you can hook your phone line up to your computer, or if you're bugging a room or doing something like that, you don't want it to constantly be recording, and you're going to record hours and hours of audio, and then you have to go through all the the silence. Um, we we're going to set it so that it will loop and constantly record to a new file name with a timestamp. And that way you can look through just the audio uh, files of when there is audio. Also, I haven't messed with it yet, but there's uh, you can actually take audio files you've already recorded and cut out the silences with socks using a similar technique. So, uh, those are some things, plus some other ideas I have that I think will be really neat if they work. Um, incorporating some stuff we've gone over in the past. So, this is our first little look at using socks to detect audio. I thank you for watching, and I ask that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's links in the description to more information on this and other open source projects. And I hope that you have a great day. Mm -hmm.